welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before my name is dr lucy and in this channel we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get help if you need to we also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to sort out some minor eye difficulties if you've not already subscribed be sure to subscribe so that we can alert you when we do upload our videos and we do this every week so today we'll discuss the first part of a three-part series on how digital gadgets affect our eyes and specifically how blue light from the screens of the digital gadgets affect our eyes in part two and in part three we will discuss how these digital gadgets affect our children and also how these digital gadgets affect our health internet is the best thing that happened to us in this lifetime and has made access to information so much easy it has changed the way we relate to each other the way we communicate to each other since the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic, most of us, including our children, have increased the time we spend on digital gadgets, including TVs, computers, smartphones, and tablets. So technology has basically taken over our lives, and this should not really be happening. According to a market research, adults are spending as much as 11 hours on digital gadgets per day. And this is way too much. Much of this is actually on social media. As we spend time on these gadgets, we are prone to the damage by the blue light that is emitted by the screens of these gadgets. High energy visible blue or violet light has a short wavelength and can penetrate the macular and cause damage to the sensitive cells of the retina, causing decreasing vision. The cornea, which is the front part of the eye and the lens, have the capacity to block most of these UV lights that comes to the eye and therefore only a small fraction actually gets into the retina. The damage therefore depends on the exposure time on these gadgets. Eye energy light, especially at night, can cause decreasing vision over time. And we have to be so vigilant, especially for our children, who we assume are in bed at night with their, of course, bedroom lights off, but they are on phone through and through for many hours before they fall asleep. This is when the real damage occurs. For your information, sunlight is the main cause of blue light and can cause damage through sunburn, cataract, or skin cancer through overexposure. Blue light is a short wavelength light that scatters light more easily and therefore decreasing contrast. When the contrast is decreased, focusing becomes difficult. So the more time you spend on doing some work, the more it is that your eyes must work very hard to focus. And therefore, at the end of the day, you may end up with eye strain and tension headaches. Since the lens is one of the structures that block the blue light, anyone who has had cataract surgery must get eyeglasses that block the blue light and also increasing the contrast so that they are more comfortable. A cataract is simply the opacification of the lens. Blue light is important in regulating our circadian rhythm, that is a sleep-wake pattern. This light can therefore disrupt our normal sleep pattern. And too much of it can cause sleeplessness, and this is evident in children who spend hours and hours before bedtime, and they find it very difficult to fall asleep thereafter. To prevent this effect, the first thing to do is to reduce the amount of screen time that you spend on this to reduce the exposure. As already said, adults spend as much as 11 hours on the screen time each day and this is a lot of time. You can cut this back by first taking the stock of your screen time and slowly setting small goals that you can achieve. For example, cutting the amount of alerts, alarms and vibrations that tell you to just get into the phone. The other way is to use blue light filters and these are available for smartphones, for tablets and for computer screens. These block blue light exposure and some smartphones also have light protector and you need to just turn it on. If you have prescription glasses, then these can be fitted with a blue light filter. But even if you do not have, you can still buy computer glasses that can be fitted with this blue light filter so that your eyes can get protected from that blue light emission from your computer screens. Just make sure that you have the correct prescription for your glasses for that computer or screen distance. Finally, remember also that your posture matters and this will help you to avoid neck pains and back pains. And also take smoke breaks in between as you do your works to stretch and so that you avoid other medical conditions like clots in your system. 
it is always a good idea to have at least a two hour break between the screen time and bedtime to avoid that disruption of the circadian rhythm that interferes with the sleep pattern. This may be a tall order for many, but you can start small by just having one hour screen time free before bedtime and then slowly build it up to two hours or more before bedtime. If you sleep well, your eyes are well rested to handle the next day's work. This concludes our discussion today on the effects of digital gadgets and the blue light on our eyes and our sleep pattern and how to avoid them. Do not miss the part two and part three of this series. If you have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe so that we can alert you when we do upload our next video. Until next week, goodbye.